June 7th, Wednesday, 8.20 Mountain Time, 2017. What we're looking at here is FlightRadar24.com. An interesting observation was made by my friend Lance. Uh, normally all you see on here is a bunch of aircraft moving around um, similar to that of a colony of ants. And it's a very informative website, it really is. But today, um, he's noticed balloons that are scattered all over the daylit side of Earth. And they're all parked, well they're actually drifting, but they're all at around 60,000 feet. This one here is in northwestern Nevada. Um, let me zoom back in and show you where some more are. There's several. This is spread out over four countries. Here's one here just east of Lake Tahoe that's at 59,000 feet. Go down here to Southern California. There's one right here that originated from the ocean right offshore. It's at 51,000 feet. Go down into Mexico. There's a few in Mexico. Where are we at? Here we go. Southwest Mexico, two. And they're all at the same general altitude. 60, 62,000 feet. That is prime ozone territory. That's where they're at. The ozone real estate of Earth. I think what they're doing is measuring the ozone, which is a good thing. It needs to be monitored every minute of every uh, every day. But there were three down here in Mexico. There's multiples down here in South America. Remember the big breach that was down here that went out over the Atlantic? And these are all uh, parked at the prime ozone real estate territory. 59, 60, 61,000 feet. This area here where you see several, around Puerto Rico, the Caribbean, this area is notoriously high in UV, 64,000 feet, 56,000 feet, and they're all the same kind of balloon. They look like that. So if you live in California, those areas that I just showed you, See something shining in the sky this morning? Just know it's probably that at a very high altitude. There's also one over here in Kenya. 58,000 feet. So normally, you don't see too much on here but airplanes. But today, there's a very obvious um, orchestrated campaign, a balloon campaign going on in four different countries all stretched through here you can see them all um, my guess is they're measuring the ozone I think what's going on with our ozone is we have wandering breaches in the ozone layer not just one breach like we had for the longest time I think we have wandering breaches now if you look at it uh, look at it like this um, the Sun we look at the Sun and we look at the different layers of the Sun's atmosphere they're they're unique by frequencies and you have to dial in each frequency that uh, represents a different layer of atmosphere. Well let's say that we turned a satellite towards Earth and uh, eliminated the layers of atmosphere like we do the Sun that we don't want to see and let's say we want to look at the ozone. Like the Sun it has wandering breaches that are known as coronal holes. They open up and they close up. Well, what if that same type of uh, phenomenon was going on with the ozone? Let's say for whatever reasons, a part of the ozone would open up and maybe close up on its own, just like the sun's coronal holes do. But let's say, for instance, that we have a, a breach or a hole in the ozone that opens up or weakens over a highly populated area, and it's, you know, during the daylight side of uh, Earth, the sun's at, you know, uh, high strength, what would you do? Would you fly planes in the area with, you know, we see the, the trailing going on all the time. Is that an effort to reduce UV? Because I've noticed through all the measurements that I've taken, the higher the UV days were days that I did notice spraying. And it was blocking a lot of the sunlight, but the sunlight that got through and was measurable 
uh, was pretty high. And then I had a day last week where I took a measurement and the forecasted UV was 12. And my measurement under a clear blue sky at high solar noon was 9. So that tells me that the ozone was thicker in that uh, area, in my area, at that moment. So I think there could be wandering uh, weak spots in the ozone layer. And they're up there checking, checking it out today because these balloons are parked in ozone territory. So I found that interesting. Um, how do we fix the ozone? How would we fix the ozone? We're going to talk about that later. Uh, have some ideas that we're going to kind of toss around and if um, see if any of these make sense. But I think the ozone is fixable. I really and truly do. And we'll explore that at a later date because that video is going to take a while to put together. But I found this interesting. If you see something in the sky, if you're in southwest Mexico or California, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, you see something way up in the atmosphere that looks like that, just know more than likely there's probably a balloon harvesting data from your ozone layer. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.